What you guys got another video here for you. I had a video request from one of my YouTube members asked me to how to change your MAC address or spoof your MAC address in this case uh, inside Windows 7. It's pretty straightforward and uh, it's the same for any Windows operating system really. So I'm going to show you how to do it. It's pretty straightforward. So I'm going to go down to the uh, start or the all button here and then click on uh, control panel. In there we want to go to network and internet and then network and sharing center. Now once we've got this open you can see our network cards down here we've got some virtual ones virtual machine and stuff like that and we've also got our local area connection. I'm going to come up to change uh, adapter settings and now you can see all of these listed inside here. So what we're going to do is click on the local area connection Now once we've got that open we need to go properties Now we've got that open, we want to go to configure and then advanced and inside here you'll see locally administered uh, address. So once you've clicked on this yours might be slightly different but you will see some different uh, settings here and you can see the actual change the MAC address here so we can actually now start going about changing our MAC address on there. We'd do that by putting in the value inside here. You may be thinking what does a MAC address look like? Well let's have a look at our MAC address. So first off I'm going to open up command prompt if I open up command prompt here and type get MAC you should see a list of MAC addresses that are on this system or on this network and you can see here we've got the actual main MAC address for the local area network here. Okay, and that's the one we're going to be changing the F4, 6D, 0, 4, 4E, F5, and 9F. That's the one we're going to be changing. Now, these other ones are for the virtual machines. So now we've got that, that's the one we're going to change. So we're going to come down to here, the value box, and we're going to type our new uh, key in there, or network key. So we're going to put 3C and I'll try 0, 02 1D F2 and maybe 6C, something like that. So now we can see we've got a complete different key code for that one. Okay, and what we're going to do here is click OK. You'll see it disable the network card and then it'll re enable it and that's forced to change. Now if we do the same thing again, get Mac, you should see that the network card address has been changed and there you go, that's how you change it. Now if that's all a bit too much for you, you can always use programs to do that and the free programs are out there like this one from this company, you can download this for free and use this and it will allow you to control all your NIC card addresses or MAC addresses and uh, basically you just I'll show you exactly what it looks like we'll open this up now once we've got this open basically what you're going to do here is select the actual card that you want to change the actual uh, address for so you click on this one and you can see it said it's already been changed and that's because I've changed it but now we're going to change it again so you can see that's the letters that I use the numbers and all you need to do is come down to random click on random this will give it a new random uh, number and letters and then basically you can select whatever you want here we'll just leave that as it is for now and then you click on change now and this will actually change It'll disconnect and then reconnect and there you can see it's been changed and you can do that for all your VMwares and stuff like that as well wireless and wired, wired networks you just change them all inside here okay and we should have internet access and that's basically how you change them up it's pretty straightforward 
So I'm going to close that off. So that's basically how you change or spoof, as it's well known, uh, your MAC address inside Windows 7. You can do that in any Windows operating system, okay? So thanks for the video request. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoyed these videos, please remember, guys, hit that subscribe button. Also, rate and favorite my videos if you enjoy them. And I'll be making more useful videos again in the future. So thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your support. Bye for now.